Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Stefan, the Photo Guru, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial or walk through the Mixbook Photo Book Editor. This is going to be the first video in the series, so I hope you're going to find it useful. So many of you are asking me how I made these books and if I can make a tutorial of the specific photo book companies editors and so here is the first one. I chose Mixbook for the first video since it's by far the most popular editor in the world and in this video I'm going to take you through the whole process of making the book from going onto the website until ordering the actual book. So uploading the pictures, making the book, trying to talk about every single feature in the editor, how it works and some tips here and there and then show you the options you can select when you get to the actual checkout process. Don't forget Mixbook has weekly deals so they always have really great deals and discounts for their photo books. Um, usually up to 50, sometimes 55% off so make sure to use these discounts. Don't pay full price for the book if you can pay half price. All of these voucher codes are on my blog, thephotobooguru.com slash deals. So go there and you'll always find the latest one. So let's dive in. Right, so let's open Mixbook. And then here you see all the products. And all you have to do is go to Photobooks and start browsing all the available themes. Or you can obviously uh, create one from scratch. So I'm going to go to the travel themes because that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to make this book about New York, as I said. And then you can see all the themes here, which are in a travel category. With some places, you've got city-specific books and themes, not with every city, obviously. So you've got Grand Canyon, you've got Europe, um, you've got New York here, let's see this one. And the good thing is that with every theme, you can browse through and you don't have to load them up and start a new project every time you, you want to try out something. So this one looks nice, it's a little bit too clip arty, but um, it's a good starting point. And then obviously you can change the orientation and see how it would look in landscape or portrait. But then let's see what else we've got. We've got Las Vegas, uh, other New York. So let's see this one. Wow, it's minimalistic. It's more in my style. Uh, I quite like this one, so let's go with this. And I'm gonna go for the um, square one. So you go to start book and then the editor loads up and it's asking you where you want to get your pictures from. From desktop, from your phone, uh, from Facebook, Google, Instagram, Smug, Smug and My Photos. So I'm gonna go to My Photos because I've already uploaded the pictures onto Mixbook. So here you can see the timeline and the albums and you can put your pictures into albums or just one long feed. Now these are my pictures from New York so I need to select all of them and add to project and that is going to ask you if you want to do an autofill which means it's going to put all your pictures into the book automatically or you want to do it yourself well I want to do it myself because I don't want to use all my pictures and I don't know what I'm gonna use and I like to design it myself so let's go for no thanks and then just a brief um, overview of what you can do here so this one here is a preview of the pages and then your pictures are on the side You've got layouts, we're going to get into that in details a little bit later on, and then backgrounds and stickers. So these are the main things you can use in the book. Now let's start with the cover. So when you click on the cover and you go to layouts, it has the theme layouts which are included in the specific theme and then you can choose some standard layouts which have one picture, two, three, four and so on. You can see the number of photos. And then if I go into the theme layout, then I can see all the pages that are included in this specific theme. So I'm gonna stick with this one because it's quite nice and I just need to find a picture. So let's see which one I'm going to use. This one's quite nice. So I'm gonna put it there and then New York City and here you can change the text. So you click on the text. You can obviously drag it around any way you want to. And these elements are all stickers, so you can get rid of them if you want to. And obviously you can undo all of these uh, changes. When you click on a photo, you can edit. And in the edit, you can do effects, which is like black and white, sepia, and so on. And you can also do border, which in this case is black. You can change the width of it. 
Let's go back to one and change the color as well. And shadows, if you want to add any shadow around the photo, we don't want that right now, but that's where you can do it. And adjust brightness, saturation, and opacity is a very useful filter when you want to layer pictures or put something into the background so you can make it a bit more transparent. And the last thing you can do here is the shape. So you can put a mask around, make it into a circle, triangle, star, heart shape, and so on. I'm gonna stick with this. And then all I want to do is to add the date in the bottom. So I'm gonna create another text box, put it down here and double click and it was the 1st April 2019. Let's put it here. I'm gonna change the color to black. Put it to the left. These are all the fonts you can choose from. Loads and loads of fonts you can choose from. I'm gonna go for something really simple. That's it. And just a little bit bigger, maybe 18. That's fine. So that's my cover page done. And then I'm gonna go on, and this is my first page. So on my first page, I want to create my arriving, arrival kind of situation. Actually, I'm going to need more space here. So I'm going to delete this and put two more boxes. So I'm going to copy paste. And you can see it's magnetic, so it's very easy to move things around. And I'm just gonna put this here. That should be fine. And this was my map on the plane. Looks fine. Maybe one bigger. That's it. Let's increase the contrast a little bit. Blends in and I'm going to put this somewhere here because that's the first thing that you're going to use if you arrive to New York. The subway system is really famous. And then just a bit of a text here. I might put this into the front. So with the forward and back buttons, you can move layers um, behind or above other layers in the, in, the, in the project or other pictures. So if I go forward, it should come around the picture. I think it looks a bit better. Let's go on to the next page. Actually, I want to put a little plane here. So if I go to my stickers, again, you can see the stickers which are in the current theme, but I'm going to look for a plane. So you put into the search plane and then here is a little plane, maybe something else. Hmm. Mm, this one should be fine. Just drag it, make it a little bit smaller. Don't forget to always save. You never know when your internet uh, disconnects or any problems like that. You want to keep your work saved. So here yeah, I've got quite a few pictures. I'm just gonna work around with these templates. So the first thing I did Obviously, I arrived to the hotel, but then I went to see the sunset from the top of the rock. So I might do that one first, but I want to do a double page spread. So I might do it actually here and I'm going to put here top of the rock. If I go back to the previous page, I'm going to make this, put this one here. I really like this picture. We don't need this downtown. Right, I think this page would look better with a darker background. 
So you go to backgrounds and then you've got so many again, solid colors and lots of um, interesting shades and gradients. So let me try this one, maybe not. Yeah, that one looks a bit better, something darker. looks better and I don't really like this background so I'm going to change it again no, that's a bit better right let's go on NYC so here I'm going to put some pictures of the city itself Fine, let's go on, save. And as you can see so far, I haven't even changed anything about the layout. I'm going to insert a page in between. So if you want to insert a page, you have to go to page tools and add a blank page. And then here, I want to make like a really long double spread with this photo. And then full page, double page. And now obviously this option works best when you're doing a lay flat book, but you can decide that in the end, if you're making a perfect bound book, then you're going to have a crease in the middle where the spine is. So you have to think about what goes there. I think that one looks a bit better, yeah. So I know I've got this picture already in the book, but I just wanted to show you how to create a double page spread uh, or a double page uh, photo. That's how you do it. And then again, you can obviously have um, text there as well. So let's add some. Right, next page. So on this page, I'm going to do Times Square. And let's go there. And actually, after Times Square, when I came out first, I I went to, to Macy's because they had the flower show on. So I'm going to put that here as well. And as you can see, all the pictures that you use disappear from the list here because it's easier for you to see what's left to work with. and just add some flowers let's go on now here I'm going to put um, one of the Brooklyn Bridge photos in this one I'm going to select something here which has four pictures for this side and keep this here on the other side. And when you go to the borders of this one, you can apply to all on the current spread. Yes, please. And then you don't have to do it individually. So it's again, a time saver. Uh, two more pictures. That's it. And I'm going to make a double page now for the World Trade Center, the new one. So come here, insert a page and just find a nice layout, probably this one here. That's fine. Right, so I'm just putting two pictures here just to keep this short. Excellent, so I'm going to save it now. And just, I want to show you what you can do when you want to order it. So you can preview it before you order it, 
which shows you without any guidelines, etc. And then you go to order. And then here is where you can select all the specifications about the book. So with every orientation, you can choose from multiple sizes. And the good thing in Mixbook is that um, you don't need to re-edit a new book if you want to do it in a bigger or smaller size. It's going to resize everything for you automatically. So I can do an 8.5 by 8.5, 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 with the same exact design. Uh, here you have some um, warnings. It's about empty boxes and photos that will look poor in print. Make sure to always address them when you click on these. You can go back to the specific pages and see what the issue is. Now, as I said, it's just a sample for me here, so I'm not going to worry about these too much. And then you can choose the paper. You have a semi-gloss option, and you can also choose premium matte lay flat. Now, if you choose the lay flat book, obviously it's going to stay lay flat, but then you only have one cover option, which is the soft matte that I showed you in the reviews before. If you go for the semi-gloss, then you can choose a soft cover, a glossy hardcover, a hardcover with dust jacket, and also a leather one. And then if I go at to cart, here I can select the shipping method, uh, economy, standard or express, and I can also enter a voucher code if I have one. So let's see, Tulip, that's the one for this week, and it gives me 14.84 pounds discount. So make sure to always use Mixbook discount codes. You can always find them on my blog, thephotobooguru.com slash deals. They have one every single week, sometimes a bigger one, sometimes a smaller one. And that's all you need to do. Click on checkout and fill in your details and wait for the book to arrive. So this was my quick walk through the Mixbook editor. Again, if you feel like I left something out where I haven't talked about some feature or something that I did wasn't clear, please ask in the comments section and also give me suggestions of what other photo book companies, editors you would like me to take you through. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, subscribe for more.